Hello everyone, I'm going to do my devotional on Revelation 6 verses 1 through 8. So let's go ahead and get into the word and let's get rolling. Uh, so here we go. Chapter 6 verse 1. Then I saw the Lamb broke one of the seven seals, scroll initiating the judgment. <clears throat> and I heard a voice of four living creatures call out with the voice of thunder, Come. I looked and behold a white horse whose rider carried a bow and a crown was given to him and he rode forth conquering and to conquer. Uh, verse 3. When the lamb broke the second seal, I heard the second living creature call out, Come. And another fiery red horse came out and its rider was empowered to take peace from the earth so that the men would slaughter one another and a great sword was given to him. Uh, verse 5. When he broke open the third seal, I heard third living creature call out, Come. I looked and behold a black horse, and the rider had in his hand a pair of scales. Uh, and I heard something like a voice in the midst of four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of b barley for a denarius, and do not damage the oil and the wine. Verse 7. Uh, when he broke open the four seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature call out, Come. So I looked, and behold, an ash horse-like hor corpse representing death, and its writer's name was Death, and Hades, the fo that followed with him. They were given authority and power over a, a fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with famine and with plague and by the wild beast of the earth. So that's uh, chapters 1 through 8. So who are the four horsemen? So I'm going to go in uh, backward sequence. So the pale horse, obviously we know, is death. What does death mean? It means pestilence, disease, um, just death in itself. And the black horse, the black horse represents famine, famine that there's not going to be any food, there's going to be shortage, ranchants are going to be low, so uh, that's the black horseman. And who is the fiery red horse? So the Bible tells us that he's given a great sword. And what is that great sword for? For war, to rage war around the world, to, to, to rage bloodshed, to kill, and for people to kill themselves, one another. And then the final, the reason I went backwards is because um, the first one, it says there's a white horse and the, that the rider was given a crown and an arrow. And a lot of people think, well, wait a minute, well, that's Jesus. Jesus is, is he's going to be in a white horse and he's going to have a crown. But I don't think this is, if you follow the context, like the whole thing is negative. Like every single one of these horsemen represents uh, a, a bad thing so i think that the white horseman is the antichrist and so what is the antichrist here to do the antichrist is here to deceive to bring death to basically bring all the representation of the other horsemen's in themselves so uh, the antichrist is here to lie to deceit uh, to bring discord um, obviously at the beginning, right, he's going to try to deceive us. I think that's why he is, he represents himself in a positive light, a white light, something positive, something good. Um, but see, that's the problem in today's world. So I challenge all of us that we need to be very ready in today's world because a lot of us just take uh, information that is told to us without even having to look into it. And I, I see so much of that in today's world uh, where people do not do their research and we just go by anything. And so it is very important that, like I said, the challenge here is for us to be steadfast, to be ready, to be uh, to not to accept just what we're told, but to decipher information, to be ready. So mainly the key thing is to be prepared. These things are going to happen, but I think that 
you know, us ourselves, we're, we're deceiving ourselves, you know, if we think that we know everything. So I think that we need to be steadfast. We need to be ready on our feet. And uh, we, we need to be, uh, make sure that we're close to God uh, so that we're not deceived by uh, all the things that, that are going to uh, uh, transfold. So thank you.